One of the biggest questions veteran teachers ask about active learning is, why should we do it? After all, it's easy to lecture. Worksheets are uncomplicated. Traditional teaching methods are comfortable. Sure, student engagement is important, but does it really merit a complete change in the way that students access the material? Simply put, yes it does. The research on active learning proves its effectiveness. Let's take a look at some of the studies. In a 2014 article published by the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, it was found that students who were given a traditional lecture had an approximate 65% pass rate on assessments, whereas students who were taught using active learning strategies had an approximate 80% pass rate on the same assessments, a 15% difference. In a class of 30, that's four or five more students who would be able to pass your class. Not only does active learning have an impact on each student, but also has shown that it is particularly effective for increasing the academic performance for diverse groups in your classroom. A 2011 article published in Science showed that economically disadvantaged students were able to close the achievement gap with their peers by nearly 50% with the inclusion of active learning strategies. In addition, multiple other studies have found that using those same strategies, especially in science class, completely eliminates the achievement gap between male and female students. The research on this topic points to one conclusion. Active learning is highly effective. It will increase your students' pass rates and create an environment that benefits all of your learners. So, take a step away from exclusively using the traditional methods and move toward active learning. We'll back your decision and so will the science.